India's prosperity continues to grow. Demand for efficient transportation services for people and goods is rapidly increasing, both between cities and to every region of the country. Construction of India's first high-speed railway has begun. This India-Japan flagship project is being carried out with the largest scale support in history from JICA. Mumbai is India's second largest city. It is a financial center that connects Asia to the world. Ahmedabad is one of the country's leading manufacturing bases, a city that embodies the rapid growth of India. Once the high-speed rail is completed, travel between the 508 kilometers separating the two western Indian cities will only take about two hours each way. With a maximum speed of approximately 320 kilometers per hour, it will be based on the world-renowned Japanese Shinkansen system. With the introduction of fast, safe, and punctual high-speed trains, the two cities are expected to further accelerate the Indian economy. The Indian high-speed railway project is steadily progressing. Now we can imagine how high-speed uh, train would run. See, we are uh, very thankful to JICA as well as uh, Japan for uh, transfer of technology of this uh, Shinkansen high-speed railway technology, as well as uh, training our engineers uh, in this field. Because uh, this uh, technology is new for us, so uh, we have to learn a lot uh, from your experience. And we are uh, totally satisfied with the support provided by JICA during our construction phase. And then we, we, have, uh, we are learning on daily basis and we are implementing uh, uh, whatever we are learning in our construction. See, we are very proud of it. Means we are creating history by doing this uh, first project of high-speed railway in India. Equally important is the development of human resources. About 870 people have come to visit Japan from India so far. This is not only to learn about the technology, but also how the Shinkansen system itself operates safely and on time. Uh, what impressed uh, most in Japan is the concern about safety first. One, and punctuality, the discipline basically, the orderliness that we could uh, see everywhere in uh, Japan. But uh, the kind of experience, the kind of riding experience and the riding comfort, quality and the cleanliness sure. and the uh, other kind of services which we have uh, seen and experienced in Shinkansen, it was beyond an, uh, beyond an ordinary uh, level, yeah, beyond ordinary level. The cleaning work which we saw here was done in a very, very systematic manner. The staff was very focused. They know how to use the tools which were provided to them and was quite impressive. Uh, we were introduced to the rolling stock. The procedure how trains in the Shinkansen system are run. So this would be quite useful for us when we have a Shinkansen train of our own operating initially between uh, Mumbai and Ahmedabad. Yeah, it's a very, very uh, important project uh, for India as it will provide a very uh, fast, very reliable and safe mode of transport between Mumbai and Ahmedabad. So uh, with this project, the people of India will also have access to that world-famous uh, transport system. And uh, I, we hope that we are not only constructing the uh, Japanese this bulletin system, but also we imbibe the culture, how they are operating the system and how they are maintaining the system, so that same system is replicated with the same amount of safety and reliability and punctuality. Once this project is there, it will become a landmark for the future projects, and there may be some future corridors may be coming up, so it will be a success story for the Indo-Japanese cooperation. The new high-speed railway project 
is possible thanks to the strong ties between India and Japan. The Japanese Shinkansen is speeding toward the future of India.